Hello guys, welcome back to Good Hero Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Atomic Heart which is very recently launched is having an issue with launching on the Xbox app as well as on the Microsoft Store which is the error code 0x8007102 and 0x8007042 be vice versa and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into it. So here I'm going to show you the steps so just follow the instruction and the first one we should be knowing that it's not actually depends sometimes it is all depending on the xbox i mean the service provider so as you can see i'll be providing a link in the description where we have to go to this you just have to open this if you're on the xbox you'll be able to know the xbox status so over here as you can see we're getting a message like all services up and running which means you know uh, they're going through uh, no issue they're all fine but even if you uh, go over here you can see the up and running and limited and major outage so right now this is on up and running which means all the servers are fine and all the servers are having no issue so it is good to go with that so if sometimes if the servers are having the issue then definitely what happens is you'll not be able to play the game so that particular situation is not in your hands we just have to wait for uh, for a couple of hours or minutes unless it should be fixed from the Xbox authority or even the Microsoft Microsoft. So this is the first step. So this is just a casual step Going to the next one is all about we have to move to the next step That is all about we have to disconnect PS5 or PS4 controllers if it's connected We have to disconnect if hotas pedals etc. If it's anything is connected to your PC or laptop We have to completely remove it Okay, we have to completely remove it and that is what you have to do. After completely removing everything, try to play the game and that did work for many of the users. Next one is all about we have to verify the game file. So over here in the Xbox, as you can see, I don't uh, I don't have game in the Xbox, but I did purchase the game on Steam. So I'm going to show you an example with Xbox. I'm going to show you an example with the games I'm having. So uh, don't get confused when I'm showing this step. So I'm going to show you an example with Minecraft launches. So imagine this is your game that is Atomic Hearts. So if this is the game, what you have to do is in order to verify the game file, just click on this icon over here. Now from here, you have to go to manage and go to files. Now from here, you just have to check over here whether you are getting the options. Most probably you'll be having the options. I'll show you with over here. Hello, neighbor. So just click on this, go to manage. If you go to files, it should be there, but I don't know why it is not there. You'll be getting an option to verify and repair it. So just click on the verify and repair option on the game of Atomic Heart. So don't get confused with Minecraft launcher, which I'm showing here because I don't have game in the Xbox, but uh, I do have the game in the Steam. So I'm, I didn't purchase it. I'm going to show you an example with this. So just verify and repair the game file. Next one is all about we have to restart PC. Try with the restarting the PC. So restarting the PC, you just have to go over here in the start. Click on this one and go for restart the PC. And that is going to work as well. So restarting the PC is just an example. And this particular simple step, this worked for many of the users. So that is why I'm recommending you, you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to create a desktop shortcut and launch it as a, and run it as an administrator. <coughs> Sorry. So if you want to do this, just click on this icon on the game. That is Atomic Hab uh, Atomic Hearts, Atomic Heart on your case. Click on this one. Go to Manage, and there is an option for Create a Desktop. Just click on this one. So what happens is a desktop is created. Okay. So now just go back to the desktop. So the, as you can see here, I'm having the launcher desktop. So right now we have to right click. Go to show more options or go to properties or you can do like this just right click over here there is an option called run as an administrator so when you create a, a, sh a shortcut for atomic heart it will be over there in the desktop just run this as an administrator that is uh, that is also going to work as well and you can try this out next one is all about we have to repair and reset the game so that is going to work for many users that did work for many users so for that reason we have to go over here in the search Search for settings over here. We have to go for settings. Now from here, go to apps. Click on apps and feature over here. We have to click on apps first, then go for installed apps. So right now, as you can see, these are the available apps, which is right now running in my case. So what we have to do is, as you can see, like I said, the atomic habits will be here if it is already installed. 
but I don't have the game. So I'm going to show you an example with the game I'm having. So I'll search for Minecraft because I downloaded this one from the where I have downloaded this from from the Xbox app, right? So it will be there. So for you, when you search for Atomic Heart, you'll be getting this. So once you click on this one and you get this Atomic Heart, don't get confused when I'm showing with Minecraft Launcher. So here, just go to this on the Atomic Heart, click on this three dot menu and go to Advanced option. So that will take you to this. Over here, if you scroll down, we are having two options. The first one, Reset. Second, uh, first one under the Reset, we are having Repair and Reset. So just go for Repair. So what happens is this will be uh, done from this side. So that is going to work as well. So once it is done, try to launch the game Atomic Heart. If it's not working, go for Reset also. That will be working fine as well. So you can try this out as well. So Reset, after trying with the Reset, go back to the Atomic Heart and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we have to delete the uh, the store local cache files which is already there in the pc when you're trying to install the game for that reason we have to go to the file explorer go to this pc now from here we have to lock open local disk so go to users so i'll be providing this particular path in the description so you don't have to worry now from here open the respective one with your name so in my case that is sahel so i have to open this now from here i have to go to app so I have to go to Ape Data, open this. Now I have to go to Local. Now from here, I have to scroll down and navigate to Packages. Whether I'm able to see Packages, I have to open Packages over here. Now from here, I have to go to Microsoft Windows Store 8 W key. So what I have to do is just have to scroll down. And over here, uh, I have to search for Microsoft Windows. Keep scrolling, Microsoft Windows. Okay. So over here, I have to go for Microsoft Windows AW key. So here it is starting. It's not there. Keep scrolling slowly. And uh, over here, uh, Microsoft Windows. Okay. So right now I found Microsoft Windows Store. Okay. I have to go with Store. I got Start Shell. I have to keep on scrolling. Okay, so this is what I found Microsoft dot Windows Store underscore AW key. This is what I need. So I have to uh, open this and I have to delete this particular one. So I have to delete this and after deleting, I have to close everything. Then I have to go back to the game and try to play the Atomic Heart. Next one is all about you have to log in with same account on the Xbox app as well as on the Microsoft Store. Right now on the Microsoft Store, I have signed in with this account. So I have to make sure that I did sign with the same account on the Microsoft Store as well. So if the both accounts are similar, not similar in the sense if it's completely different, then sign in with the same account. So he, so over here, as you can see, it's same account. So you have to make sure that both accounts are same. I mean, same credentials. If it is not the case, you have to do like this. So that did work out for many users as well. Next one is all about, we have to set the time, time zone, region and language, correct? For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, we have to go to time and over here, we have to go to, okay, time and language. Over here, we are having two options, date and time, language and region. Select the first one that is date and time. So what we have to do is if it is set automatically, it is turned it off, we have to turn this on. Simultaneously, if uh, this is also turned it off, we have to turn this on. Simultaneously, if we go back to the language and region, you can see if the country or region actually I'm from India, so I have to select the respective one. And if you're on in, uh, English, we have to select the English. If you're on any other languages like Chinese, Japanese, select the respective one. We have options for all these kind of, uh, you know, various options, language options. You can select the respective one. So you can select the respective one, which one act actually is according to your need. Next one is all about we have to update Windows. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to search for settings. Now go to settings. Now over here, bottom left, we have to click on Windows update. Scroll down and navigate to update. So over here, as you can see, download and install. If you are getting any update, just download and install. After downloading and install, try to play the game. And that didn't work for many users as well. Next one is all about, we have to install all the pending updates in the Microsoft Store. For that reason, we have to go over here in the Microsoft Store. Then just go to the library over here. Now, just wait over here, at, as you can see at the top, we are having get update option. So if you click on this, all the apps will be up to date. So just click on this one and that is going to work as well. Next one is all about, we have to go for run WS reset command. So you just have to go over here, search for WS reset. 
command over here you have to search for it so when you open this what happens is you the microsoft store will be open again so you have to just do like this okay now once after it is done now go back to the uh, over here on the xbox app then try to play the atomic heart next one is all about we have to repair and reset xbox and xbox app and microsoft store so simultaneously like i shown above go over here go to settings now from here go to apps now from here go to install it apps now from here we have to search first one let me search for microsoft store so i have to search for microsoft store i have to search for it so i'll go for store over here so i have to click on this one go to advanced option now from here scroll down and navigate to repair option first repair it then after repairing successfully then go over here and reset option as well after both done open the microsoft store and if you're on the xbox just search for xbox app over here you have to find the xbox over here you'll get advanced option keep scrolling down and go for repair first then try to open and try to play the game if it's not working go for next one that will reset it and try to play the game so this is what you have to do okay on to the next one is all about we have to run the few commands in the powershell so i'll be say giving the commands in the description so the first one is this command that is this one i have to copy this so i'll be giving this in the description so you don't have to worry just go over here and search for powershell okay just search for uh, powershell now click on run this as an administrator so now just paste it and press enter so this process is going to take a little bit of time so we just have to wait a lot so after this successfully done and everything is done as you can see we have to close this and uh, try to go back to the xbox app and try to play the game that is what we have to do so let me keep this in bin uh, we uh, let this run in the background so i'll move to the next step next step is all about we have to do is you just have to follow the instruction that is all about we have to start all the services so for that reason we have to go over here search for services okay now open this so in the description i'll be providing few list okay so there will be few things in the description that is ip helper first one is ip helper so just scroll down and navigate to ip helper over here so keep on scrolling ip helper so just double click this one and as you can see if it's make sure this is automatic and if you're getting start option just go for start apply and go for okay next one here in the description is xbox live oath manager so i'll be providing this in the description so you don't have to worry so keep scrolling down and navigate to xbox oath live oath manager so open this change this to from manual change this to automatic if you're getting start just go for start go for apply and go for okay next one is all about we have to go for xbox live game side save so open this change this to automatic go for start then just wait for it go for apply and go for okay next one is all about uh, xbox xbox live networking services just click on this one change this to automatic go for start now just go for apply and go for okay next one is all about we have to go for gaming services just go to the g gaming services uh keep on scrolling a little bit up gaming services just open this change this to it's all done just go for okay next one is all about windows update so over here just scroll down and navigate to windows update now windows update over here so click on windows update so windows backup windows audio okay just over here it's not there search windows update just open this now change this to automatic go for apply and go for okay next one is all about microsoft install service so just go at the top okay microsoft install service open this change this to automatic go for apply and go for okay close everything now all these details will be provided in the description so you don't have to worry and just open the game and try to play it next one is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the gaming services so for that we'll be having one more command which you have to do so what you have to do is you just have to uninstall the gaming server that will be done very easily next one we have to go to xbox identity provider so i'll be providing a link in the description to xbox identity provider as well so over here you should be having it so over here this one i'll be providing a link in the description so you have to click on this get in store app then go for microsoft store then when you go for this one 
you just have to uh, install it on the Microsoft Store. Then what you have to do is it's already installed in my case, so I don't have to do this. So if it's not there, you have to install it. Last and the least one is all about uninstall and reinstall the game. So go back to the Xbox. You have to click on this one, manage option. I mean over here, uninstall the game, then try to reinstall it back. And this is what you have to do <coughs> when you're having an issue with Atomic Heart and having this particular issue. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.